Hey, hi everyone. This is admin from admin 365. And in this video, we will talk about how to share files from your OneDrive and SharePoint sites in Office 365. So let's get started. So I have logged into office.com with a user account, which has OneDrive and SharePoint access. Uh, you basically require a license. If you don't, uh, you will not see OneDrive or SharePoint when you click on the nine dots on the top left. So do make sure you see OneDrive and SharePoint if you wish to share the file from them. So if you click on OneDrive, it should open your OneDrive here. And under my files section, you should see all the files which is present in your OneDrive and you can share it with others. Under shared, you will see all the files which you have shared with someone or someone has shared with you. So for example, under my files, if I wish to share a file or a folder, we'll talk about the file first and then click on share on the top or you have a share option here as well. So once you click on it, it will open a window where it will ask you for the name or email address of the person who you wish to share the file or folder with. Currently, I'm just typing a random external address on a domain which is not owned by me. And you can see the message as well is outside of your organization. And here on the right, there is the permission. Either you can copy the link. Uh, which will have permission to these two users internal and external with the edit permission you can share the link on the email type the email manually and then send it to them it will work the same way or if you wish to just send it directly an automated email will be triggered and sent it to them they can review it and click on the link to access the file and this is the link setting we can further define the link the sharing uh, currently it is said to anyone if you have this setup Basically, if you generate a link, anyone who gets hold of the link will be able to access the file. So it is kind of open. If the link is shared with anyone within the organization, which is part of your Office 365 and has a Office 365 account, it will allow them to access that file, which you are sharing with this permission. So you simply have to click on this if you wish to change. And uh, the other one is people with existing access. So you can click on this and uh, just click on apply and then generate link or copy the link you can then share it with the person who already had access and they will be able to access the file again using the new link as well and this is the option which will basically allow you to share it with people internal and external this is a restrictive access this is uh, similar to anyone but in anyone uh, anyone who gets hold of the link will be able to access uh, be it internal or external in this you can share it with external but only the people who you have mentioned in the sharing uh, invitation will be able to access that this is the same drop down which we saw on the first screen you can choose all the options here and uh, the link which is generated if you want to set an expiration date so that anyone who has the link after a specific date they cannot access the file you can do that as well while you are generating the link currently i will keep it as blank and then click on apply so currently it is set to people you choose and can edit and apply so any any person in this list if i hit send they will be able to access the file only they will be able to access the file so if i hit send and email would go out to them from my outlook to them so if i open my outlook application after this is done you should see one email in your sent items as well defining the message which has the link let's wait for it to trigger so the procedure for the folder is also the same if you share a folder all the files within that folder is automatically shared as well and if I now go to my Outlook to check the email which was triggered, I should be able to see an email in my sent item. Sent item here. Here you can see the two emails sent to two different participants, inviting them. And 
here send to this external user and this is the email format which will be delivered to them as you can see if you have access to a sharepoint site you will see them under your account quick access all the sharepoint site which we see here uh, is the site which my account has access to you will see similar for your account as well if you click on it it will open the sharepoint site you basically have to go to documents library basically document library or document list is the list which holds all the document on a sharepoint site uh, if this particular group for example my group in here if it is a part of a microsoft teams you will see two section uh, this is for the teams section and this is for your sharepoint uh, they can have similar files depending on where you are viewing them so for sharepoint specific uh, this is the place where you can go and check the file and these would be all the files so for example if you wish to share the general file the same procedure which we saw uh, click on share a pop-up window will open this is all the people who already have access to this will mostly include the members and if there is any external guest of the team that will show up here as well this is the permission this is the place where you type the name or add the external email address and you can copy the link or send it directly or you can also refine it by the options here as well here you can see the anyone with the link option is not available it's most likely that the admin on the site has restricted it for this SharePoint site as I don't see the anyone with the link I can always choose the people you choose option and share it with internal and external person without any issue click on it apply it mention the name and send it there you go so this is how we can share the files in OneDrive and SharePoint uh, from the browser version you can also do it from the desktop but I would recommend to do it on the browser it is fast and simple and it is similar for both uh, Mac and Windows so uh, do let me know if you have any question you can drop it in the comment section and you have a nice day bye take care